hi Gemini welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead Gemini let's see what you can expect now from the 7th to the 13th of October which is Monday to Sunday and the major arcana the major influence that will be around you Gemini is your card the lovers it's time to make that ultimate choice or something you will or you have to or you will be given an opportunity where you have to make a decision or a choice regarding something or it could be just a very romantic week look coming forward let's see let's start with your reading and first let's start with your money finance and career gemini let's see what, what choices are coming up for you and what you can expect and what you should be prepared for so spirit tell me for gemini their money finance career what can they expect and a warm welcome back to all my subscribers welcome in newcomers gemini spirit money finance and career page of cups four of cups four of wands and the queen of pentacles okay lovers yes again see the same card here overall energy is the lovers and you have the lovers here which means yes even in your money finance and career there is a choice that is coming up for you there may be a offer maybe from a friend of somebody maybe or somebody that you already know some casual friend or a close friend I don't know some friendly suggestion may be made to you which you may not be very excited to accept from what I'm feeling it's like yeah really do I really want to start something new do I really want to invest in this opportunity I'm not sure I need to kind of take a step back and think about it why because I have a feeling uh, Gemini you're pretty comfortable where you are already you know that you have all your ducks in a row you are feeling very stable you are able to pay your bills at the moment and you have enough to look good feel good have a stable home you have you know savings as well and you have enough left over you know just to have your uh, you know niceties in life and even to gift your loved ones or take care of them you have it all so when this offer comes in which could be a brand new offer coming towards you like I said a friendly suggestion or a you know hey you want to do this with me or let's try this you I don't see you really jumping for that I, I don't think so let's see anyway so spirit tell me page of cups page of cups spirit yeah, king of swords you'll have to make a logical decision yeah it may give you a little stress and anxiety when you get this offer and you 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 would want to use your head over heart on this one it's like yeah let me be logical it sounds really nice but do I really want to do it I have to be practical uh, four of cups four of cups uh, page of one this person may even try and pressurize you may send you constant messages and saying hey have you thought about it do you really want to do this and you know it's a good opportunity uh, you know invest here or do this uh, I have a feeling you're going to take a little time out and say I'm I'm not sure I want to accept this and whoever this person is is going to keep pushing they they seem like a very pushy person uh, could be one of those sales people you know the, that you met at Starbucks in the morning or something and that person turned out to be a car salesman let's say and said hey you know you're, there's a car offer going and then they take your number and then they call you and then they want to excite you and then they want to push you I don't think you're taking that offer I'll be honest with you for a once yeah because you're pretty happy where you are nine of cups you are already in a very very good place you are already making all your dreams and wishes come true you're stable you're happy you don't want to jeopardize anything by investing in the wrong place Gemini so I have a feeling you're going to be a little cutthroat you're finally going to put the verdict down ace of swords and saying well no means a no I'm not interested so queen of pentacles queen of pentacles two of swords yes you will turn a blind eye I feel you will turn a blind eye because you want to make very wise decisions and only invest in things which give back to you like I gave that example of a car you feel do I really need a new car right now because it's depreciating value and I'll be blocking all that money into a new car and do I really need a new car right now so it's almost like you want to only invest in things which are going to give you back in return 
so you will be making that decision once and for all to keep your financial life balanced out and not you know just take any offer which is being pushed on towards you it's like no i'm happy the way i am i'm sitting in my comfort i have enough to you know uh, do some self care self love buy myself nice things right now i don't want to jeopardize my financial position not at this time all right so what about their uh, what about their spirit love life what can we expect for that gemini how does this lovers card affect their love life spirit love life for gemini uh page of wands okay <laughs> again again same thing almost the same thing my god it's almost the same thing 10 of pentacles okay so you will be getting a message from somebody and uh, this person will also want your attention like you know constant messages calls or something uh again i see you trying to make a very logical decision regarding your love life because it's like i don't want to get my heart broken i i have to make my decisions very wisely but uh, i have a feeling this offer is going to be a good one because it's turning into the 10 of pentacles uh, spirit tell me page of wands page of wands world yeah this is a brand new person maybe coming into your life this is not not an old person this could herald the start of a brand new chapter for you maybe there's a new person around who's wanting to get your number and talk to you yeah it may give you a little bit of stress and anxiety it's like yeah what should i do again the lovers card is here again it's like what should i do should i third time the lovers card is here and lovers is a i think gemini card right so third time so this is this is going to be a week of you having to make some very decision uh, major decisions so again i see you in the hanged man and saying yeah let me be logical do i really want to get my heart broken i don't want to do this uh, uh maybe we should just be only friends for now or something and um, you know meet up with a group of friends or something because you're trying to avoid any kind of stress and anxiety or sleepless nights which comes with maybe having you know a partner in your life and you want to avoid uh, getting hurt again uh, so why the 10 of pentacles then spirit no this is somebody new coming towards you uh, this is like a new offer either you're taking it or you're getting it this is a brand new offer and it has the promise of leading to a very long lasting relationship or a connection so spirit spirit tell me you're doubting it tell me about the 10 of pentacles Ten of Pentacles. Don't be over judgmental. Spirit says here. Yeah, you can take a little time out and uh, don't have to rush into it. You can think about it. But this, I'm promising you, Gemini, this new offer that is coming towards you is a true blue two of cups offer. It can lead to a long-lasting connection. This is a brand new offer. It's going to make your heart overflow with happiness. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacle, Knight of Cups suggests it's a brand new person or a new offer, new relationship. This can actually start a brand new chapter in your life. So don't overthink it. <laughs> All right. So spirit, overall energy for Gemini. What can they expect? Overall energy for Gemini now. How will their week go, Spirit? Overall, nine of nine of wands, page of pentacles, page of swords, and the hierophant. Ooh, ten of cups. It's going to be a happy week. Uh, what Spirit is trying to say here? Yes, you can be wary, but don't be judgmental. It's like don't be defensive. because that could slow things down sometimes we get a little over analytical we you know get suspicious we want to have you know get more information but uh, i have a feeling overall things are going in the right direction um, hierophant the universe is backing you in a very big way where things are going to be long lasting this is like putting balance and structure back into your life so yes you can be very but don't be suspicious or over analytical uh something is going to lead you to the 10 of cups so be ready for that 
uh, any advice for it any any other advice that Gemini can use right now for their week ahead advice for gems death and rebirth yep this week can actually change your life Gemini <laughs> this can be like the let's go let's let go of the past kind of a thing and transform and have a brand new life um, choose to move forward choose to trust the universe and take take strides going forward instead of holding back all the time there are opportunities new opportunities coming towards you and when i say new i mean new whether this is in work or business or love or both so don't get overly confused or you know get what should I choose should I not should I not uh, it's time maybe now to start investing in one of these opportunities so that's your advice and uh, spirit you tell me any affirmation for them any affirmation that can help them stay a little more positive when they come to making these decisions and have a wonderful week ahead Okay, and the affirmation I have for you, Gemini, is serenity. I'm serene and still. Serenity bestows inner peace, tranquility and calmness of mind. When you feel serene, you are your own person for nothing and no one can bother, upset or influence you. You're like a calm, clear lake, beautiful and peaceful to be with. Your quiet radiance brings hope and support to those who come within your aura. You attract respect and love from others, for all are calmed by you. As you become deeply serene and still, you connect with the higher powers of the universe for divine guidance, and your path in life becomes smooth and flowing. Quietly ask your angels to hold you in serenity. I am serene and still and that's your affirmation okay so don't overthink and don't get confused and listen to your gut listen to your intuition and uh, go with you know whatever promptings the divine is giving you now something is moving you towards a very very secure future all right so that's what i have for you till next time then gemini love and light take care namaste